The issue of the South China Sea was one of many discussed at the U.S. ASEAN summit. CCTV's Jessica Stone sat down with the Minister of Information of Myanmar. It's a country that does not have competing territorial claims with China. What is your view on the Asia rebalance by the United States, and has it been felt in Myanmar? So for the Myanmar, we welcome the uh, U.S. policy to more engagement in the Asia, especially the ASEAN region. But on the other side, we have to be very careful. The U.S. engagement to the Asia is not to contain the reg other regional power, especially the China. And we are seeing that China and the United States is a two engine for the stability and development of the, our region. So we need both engines. And as a member of ASEAN, do you feel a unique responsibility to balance those two powers? And how do you do that? We want to work with all the international players into the stability of the, our region. So maybe there's some member of the ASEAN have the uh, dispute with the China or United States. But the ASEAN as a whole, as the ASEAN as a community, we are able to balance the relationship with the two big countries. The Trans-Pacific Partnership Trade Agreement, which was just signed earlier this month, is also another marker of this U.S. strategy. Myanmar is not a member of TPP. How do you look at TPP and what its possibilities are for ASEAN and for the broader region? For my personal opinion, Myanmar have to wait a while to join the TPP before, because we have to develop our economic economy first. Obviously, Myanmar is also a key point for One Belt, One Road. How do you plan to take advantage of that new proposal by China? Yes, uh, we have the very strategic location between the India and the China, and the China and the South Asia. So we want to build our as a transition uh, transit point or the bridge between the China and the, the India and the South Asia market. So that's what we want to use that. That's why we. So we're talking about the, ports like. Yes, like the Chaoqiu. Uh, special economic zone and the Tilawa special economic zone and the Dawei economic zone are the, our project. Um, what about the economic projects that have been stopped? I think the next government would have to review all these projects because the president they say said he uh, suspended the, the this ten project in his term and he allowed the next government to decide it on this issue. But in the other side, uh, Chinese uh, business men uh, have to understand the new paradigm in the our country because the people pay more attention on the environmental and social impact of the, this kind of big project do you fully expect that march 17th will still be the date for the new elections uh the march 17th is uh, nld de decided to select their new president so after that and the march 31st there will be the official ceremony of the transfer of power in the presidential palace